hi uh, welcome to my channel in today's tutorial I'll show you how to create a security certificate in uh, C sharp these are the digital certificates which are used for encrypting and signing data we will be using bouncy castle API's which is a cryptography API available in C sharp we will be creating a, I'll show you how to create a certificate as well as also extract out the public key in a PEM file format which is a text format if you have not used bouncy castle before maybe this can be a very useful uh, beginning uh, kind of a kind of an introduction to bouncy castle so let's get started right so first what we can do is uh, let's create a simple WinForms based project this is just a sample uh, UI which I'll show you uh, which we can create and uh, which will allow you to create a certificate as well uh, so this is available freely from the link which I'll be posting in the description below so you can download the project file and uh, if you want to just uh, run it on your machine and you should be able to generate the certificates so here I am just creating a WinForms uh, based application so uh, instead of selecting .NET Core I have just gone with full .NET you can select a .NET Core as well uh, Bouncy Castle is available for .NET Core as well and uh, or otherwise you can just follow what I am I am doing here if you uh, if you have never used Bouncy Castle before if you have never done any certificate generation so just follow what you see on the screen or uh, as I said uh, uh, download the sample project file so it's creating the project let it create the project okay project is created I'm running I'm running this on a virtual machine so this is going to be slower so just please uh, bear with me and first thing which will what we will do is we will uh, install bouncy castle in the solution so right click on the solution and go to manage new get packages okay i hope the right click pops up should just come any moment now as i said this is running on a virtual machine so it's a bit slower so the idea here is we'll first uh, have the bouncy castle package for our solution uh, which is a cryptography API available for .NET users so this API is useful for creating certificates, signing the data and also encrypting the data besides other complex tasks as well, which we can explore in future tutorials. So uh, these are also used for uh, payment processing applications where you want to generate secure certificates or secure data. So this APIs are also used there. Okay, so enough talk. Let's install uh, Bouncy Castle. So let's go to manage new get packages. And if you just uh, go to browse and type in bouncy castle so there it is so just choose that one and install it so once we have it installed we should be ready to use the certificate generator class as I mentioned in the beginning of the video you can always pause the video to have a look at the watch which class uh, is being used here or uh, you can always study the source code which is available in the project file so once this is installed I am going to create a sample uh, UI which I will not show it in the video here but it's very 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 fair, a very simple kind of a UI which a WinForm based UI to create a certificate I'll just show this UI how the UI looks like so this is what the UI looks like so it has a issuer a subject and a valid field where you can provide all this data and just hit on the generate button and it should generate uh, the certificates in the folder which have which can be again be 
chosen by clicking on the browse from the browse button that's the one the output folder so these fields should be fairly self explanatory so i'll just uh, in where the says issuer i'll just put uh, youtube and in place of uh, the organization uh, i'll just put in as a new company just just to just to demonstrate what it does and validity i'll say 3 uh, months so i've hit the i'll select the folder okay we are ready hit the generate button and we should see two new files on the right hand side in the folder so i'll open the certificate file so as you can see it has generated the certificate which has been issued to the company name which was given in the subject field and issued by youtube the, the name which we gave in the issuer and the valid validity date is the what we specified in the valid for field in the ui so yeah it's fairly straightforward and you can inspect these various fields to see that it is a working certificate i'll open this pem file as well to show what it contains and uh, uh, yeah okay so this contains the public key which resides inside that certificate so if you want to give this key to anyone you uh, just in a text file format you can give this pem file or you can use it for encrypting your own or signing the data which we will see in the future tutorials so i'll just delete these two files and generate the certificate again but this time with a new new company so i'll just put in google and uh, for uh, location i will change that from uh, reading to uh, london say london and validity i'll change it to say 4 months and output folder can be the same hit the generate button okay so yeah so we have two files let's open them verify that the certificate has been created correctly which you see it has so issued to company and issued by uh, google as which you have specified but of course you know that these certificates are not trusted meaning they don't come from a trusted source uh, which uh, we will discuss what it means if you are not uh, used to them i'm sure most of you know about uh, this trusted uh, securities and all those things but if not then don't worry so these certificates are good for if you are just a developer wanted to uh, test something on your local box then uh, this should be fair to fairly simple to start with let's look at the code as well so code again is uh, not that complicated so this is the method here create certificate which gets called when you hit the generate button and here we specify we generate the serial number which is the input required for the certificate so we need the serial number we need the subject we need the issuer which is all passed from the ui to this method here and we also specify the valid period and we just set it in the certificate generator class and finally we generate a key pair which is an asymmetric key pair meaning the public and private keys are different and yeah we just uh, create the certificate by passing in these parameters and it creates a certificate and is sent back to the method where which was called when we had pressed the button so if we go back to the button click method as you can see we are calling the create certificate from here passing in the subject the issuer the validity and the output key and we write it to the folder by just writing the bytes of the raw data so this x509 certificate class has a data member called as raw data which is returned to the file and for pem file we just use a pem writer which is just basically a simple file a text file writer 
which writes out the public key to the text file. I think this should be a good start for to to play with. And if you look at what's uh, these are the using clauses which I'm using here. And yeah, as I said, this should fairly be simple to create a certificate of your own and get you started. I hope you like this short video, a very short video. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.